Hello, everyone. Welcome to the U.S. Stock Market Channel. Today is Friday, November 6th, 2024. Today, we are going to talk about Trump's victory market roller coaster. Uh, let's first take a look at the current situation of the U.S. stock market. U.S. stocks hit new highs at noon on Wednesday, with all three major indexes rising by more than 2%. Investors are paying attention to Trump's victory and its impact on U.S. stocks and the U.S. economy, and investment targets that may benefit during Trump's term have exploded. The Federal Reserve will hold a two-day monetary policy meeting starting today and will announce the results of the meeting on Thursday. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 1,362.90 points, or 3.23%, comma, to 43,584.78 points. The Nasdaq rose 435.83 points, or 2.36%, comma, to 18,875.00 points. And the S&P 500 rose 119.94 points, or 2.07%, comma, to 5,902.70 points. On Wednesday morning, the Dow Jones Industrial Average rose to 43,624.11 points. The Nasdaq rose to 18,907.80 points, and the S&P 500 rose to 5,907.11 points, all setting intraday record highs. The last time the Dow Jones Industrial Average rose more than 1,000 points in a single day was on November 10th, 2022, when it rose more than 1,200 points the S&P 500 rose more than 5.5%, comma, and the Nasdaq soared about 7.4%. After winning key swing states such as Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia, former U.S. President Donald Trump has reportedly won 276 electoral votes and will defeat his Democratic opponent, Kamala Harris. More and more Wall Street strategists predict that Trump's victory will lay the foundation for the stock market to rise by the end of 2024. So far this year, the S&P 500 has risen 21%. As the market digests the news that Trump won the election, investment targets that may benefit during Trump's tenure have exploded. All three major U.S. stock indexes climbed, 10-year U.S. Treasury yields rose, and Bitcoin soared. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is an important supporter of Trump. Tesla's stock price soared 13% early Wednesday. Shares of Trump Media and Technology, a social media company closely associated with Trump, surged. Bank stocks were boosted, with J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America and Wells Fargo all surging as investors bet that Trump will deliver on his promises to lower taxes and ease banking regulations. The Russell 2000 Index of small-cap stocks, also seen as a beneficiary of Trump's policies, surged. Bitcoin, which could benefit from deregulation, surged to $75,000, a record high. Investors expect the Trump administration to support digital assets. The dollar index climbed to its highest level since July, as people believe that Trump's proposal to impose import tariffs on major U.S. trading partners will boost the dollar. The 10-year Treasury yield soared to around 4.43% on speculation that Trump's proposed tax cuts and other spending plans would stimulate economic growth, but also expand fiscal deficits and reignite inflation. The 30-year Treasury yield jumped 23 basis points, the biggest one-day gain since 2020. The surge in Treasury yields highlights concerns that Trump's policies could further inflate the budget deficit, which would reignite inflation that had just been quelled after the pandemic. In this closely watched election campaign, Trump, 78, was elected the 47th president of the United States, making a stunning comeback, winning this unprecedented campaign battle and helping the Republicans retake the Senate. If the Republicans control both houses of Congress, Trump's policies will be smoothly implemented for at least two years, which may lead to more drastic spending changes or major reforms such as tax policy. This looks like a victory for Trump in the presidential election, but it will also be a victory for Republicans in the House and Senate. If this happens, you will see the U.S. economy really take off. At the time of Trump's victory, the U.S. society is deeply divided on issues such as immigration, abortion and foreign policy, and is still suffering from the worst inflation in four decades. Investors expect the second Trump administration to be similar to the first, a series of policies tax cuts, deregulation, trade wars, will simultaneously stimulate economic growth and corporate profits while pushing up inflation. Analysts say the election results will give Republicans the upper hand in the fight to rewrite the tax system next year. 
and they will have four years to reshape the federal judiciary. Trump has promised major measures after taking office, including a comprehensive crackdown on immigration, deregulation, drastic cuts in federal spending, layoffs of civil servants and prosecution of political opponents. The market is also paying attention to the Federal Reserve's monetary policy meeting in November. According to the agenda, the Federal Reserve will hold an interest rate meeting on November 6th, 7 local time, and announce the interest rate decision after the meeting. Federal Reserve Chairman Powell will then deliver a speech. Let's return to the topic of the Trump's victory market roller coaster. Following Trump's victory announcement, financial markets reacted sharply as investors adjusted for a potential resurgence of his policy agenda. Point one, stock market gains, US and global stocks rose with European indices, DX, FTSE 100, say C40, and US indices, S&P 500, NASDAQ, Russell 2000, all seeing upward momentum. The possibility of renewed tax cuts, deregulation and pro-business policies bolstered market confidence in risk assets. Analysts from Morgan Stanley and JP Morgan Chase suggested that these policies could support further market gains into the end of the year, with S&P 500 long positions increasing sharply. Point two, strengthening dollar and Bitcoin surge. The dollar saw its biggest rise against major currencies since 2020, while Bitcoin surged over 8% on expectations that Trump could push for policies supporting digital assets, fueling optimism around cryptocurrencies. Point three, Rising bond yields, U.S. Treasury yields rose by more than 0.1%, comma, signaling market concerns over potential budget deficits and inflationary pressures tied to Trump's policies. Nat Alliance's Andrew Brenner highlighted the rising tension as investors monitor the impact of potential deficit expansion on inflation. Point four. Oil price decline. Both WTI and Brent crude oil prices fell modestly, reflecting caution over Trump's impact on global oil demand and supply chain stability. Point five dot year dash end rally. Expectations historically US stocks perform well toward the year end, and Deutsche Bank sees recent volatility as setting the stage for further gains, especially if sentiment stabilizes post election. Goldman Sachs forecasts a low likelihood, under twenty percent of a US bear market within the next year with the ongoing economic recovery as a supportive factor. While optimism is high, some investors are starting to consider profit-taking given recent gains, with strategists pointing out the potential for increased volatility in the near term. Market sentiment is largely positive, but cautious views on inflation and fiscal risks remain. After Trump wins the election, several industries may benefit due to anticipated policy directions like tax cuts, deregulation and support for American manufacturing. Here's a look at sectors that could see a positive impact. 1. Energy and traditional oil and gas. Trump's administration previously supported reduced regulations on fossil fuels, so oil, gas and coal sectors might experience fewer restrictions. Policies favoring energy independence could also benefit domestic energy production, particularly for shale and pipeline projects. 2. Financial services. Deregulation initiatives could benefit banks and financial firms as looser regulatory constraints might boost profits, reduce compliance costs and allow for higher lending and investment activities. Banking stocks may see significant gains from reduced federal oversight. 3. Defense and aerospace. Increased military spending was a hallmark of Trump's previous tenure. Defense contractors and aerospace companies could benefit if a similar stance on military investment is renewed, potentially leading to increased government contracts. 4. Industrial and manufacturing. Policies aimed at bringing jobs and production back to the U.S. would support manufacturing, construction and industrial sectors. Infrastructure spending and favorable trade adjustments could also drive growth in machinery, building materials and related industries. 5. Pharmaceuticals and biotechnology. A more industry-friendly regulatory approach in the healthcare sector might reduce drug pricing pressures and streamline approvals. This could benefit pharmaceutical and biotech companies by encouraging research, development and production domestically. 6. Technology and digital assets. Trump's pro-innovation stance and potential support for blockchain and digital asset markets may benefit cryptocurrency and blockchain sectors, as well as larger technology companies that could see less scrutiny around privacy or antitrust issues. 7. Retail and consumer goods. With potential tax reductions aimed at boosting disposable income, consumer spending could rise, benefiting retail and consumer goods companies. Lower individual tax rates might lead to increased spending on consumer products, driving growth in these sectors. While many of these sectors could see growth, 
Trade policies and fiscal spending plans could also introduce volatility, particularly for companies with significant exposure to global supply chains. Thank you for watching. If you find these analyses helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell to get more updates. For more specific details and the latest examples of stock technical analysis methods, please join my Discord group. The link to the Discord group is below this video. See you next time.